What is up, everybody, and welcome to the next game I'm going to be doing my playthrough on. Well, now you know what it is, but unfortunately it wasn't nearly as grand as I was hoping it would be. So I got to go ahead and manage my memory card. Okay. Brings back memories of Star Fox Assault, doesn't it? As I was saying... Welcome to another playthrough I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel. And a game that I hold very dear to me because it was a game that I, of course, grew up with. Made by, well, at least it was published or developed by THG, I don't remember. Make all the best licensed video games. Nick Games, you know, they made, they branded the Spanish Hub. This brings back so many memories just looking at it. Static title screen, looking good. <laughs> Rocket Power Beach Bandits, everyone. This is a game I used to play on the PlayStation 2 when I was much, much younger. And it's a game that I remember really liking for just how it was designed in particular. Whereas I did not like how it was for Re Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, this game, I think, uses it a lot more to its advantage. And... Pretty sure you all, well, at least a good chunk of you remember who these characters are. You have Twister, who is Otto's right-hand man. You have Sammy, he's the geek with the shark helmet. He's a kid now, and he's a squid now. That was unintentional for a Splatoon. Oh, we also had Reggie and Otto. Otto's the extreme buster, and Reggie's the girl power girl. <laughs> this game is awesome. Oh, that's slow mo. You just have to give that one extra bit of spotlight to Reggie. Is that it? I was expecting a much more exciting flourish than that, but I guess we're not getting it. Oh well. I want to try and 100% this game. I could not do it when I was a kid, and it's like, okay, how does he expect to 100% this game if he's never done it before? Well, I have seen a speed run in late and recent time, and while I don't really use those as far as completionists is concerned, it at least does help me to like get re and what's the word I'm looking for? Um, from I guess familiar again with the game I used to I I, I played before. Yes. Story mode, the zine, options, multiplayer, extras. What's the extras? Oh, uh, movies and gallery credits. Okay, that thing important. Multiplayer, maybe one day I will show this off, but for now I don't think I really can. Options. Oh, here's something here. For anyone that's actually been following the show back when it, you know, was around, there are cheats, which allow you to unlock levels of the game. I'm not going to be doing that though because. A, I haven't watched the show in forever, and B, that could get into some spoiler stuff, so I'd rather not show that off right now. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is the Sora Shack, and you know that's Tito. You know he's the bigger cuz. The little cuz. Story mode, let's go. New game. That's right, that's why I'm gonna make a new one, obviously. My game is... I guess this is gonna be. Oh wow, I just realized something else. Okay, so it's just uppercase, there's no lowercase letters. I forget, I haven't played this game in a long time, if you cannot already tell. But. I kinda wish it was some kind of. I guess interface where you could just choose the letters more easily rather than just scrolling through them. That's just awkward. But whatever, my name is in, you know it already before. 
I am AA Ran, otherwise known as the GameCube Buster, because I changed my channel name because I gotta get more exciting. You know, maybe I'll change it in the future. Maybe it's not even the GameCube Buster anymore, and you're just looking at a video that's dated already. Like this game show was. I'm not gonna lie, the show is kind of cringy looking back at it, but I still liked it. I like cringe. I like cheese. I like mozzarella. Schools out for summer. Let's get down to the shore shack for some outrageous thick shakes and some serious grindage. Oh, I'm so hungry. Then time for the first surf of a long, long summer. Last one to the shore shack's a squid. You're on, Sammy. Ah, uh, this is charming. The animation. Oh, no! Guys, look! He smiles as he says that. The sand! It's all gone! My surfing! I can't go out on that! We'd be totally cut to shreds! There's more at stake than just your surfing, Otto. What about the shore shack? If they shut down the beach, all the tourists will disappear. Not to mention the surf contest. Double bogus. The Ocean Shores Classic is only a week away. Greymundo will be majorly bummed. Hey, I think they're gonna say something. My fellow Ocean Shores citizens and visitors to our fair area. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed a slight <laughs> reduction in the quality of our beach overnight. I would just like to assure you that there is no reason to be alarmed. I'm sure this is purely a temporary problem, and rest assured that we are working to fix this issue as soon as we can. On that note, I'd like to welcome Eric Gollum, whose real estate construction company has recently decided to make Ocean Shores its home. On that note, with a gesture of goodwill, Mr. Gollum has pledged his science division to find the answer to our anomalous sand deficiency. Thank you. Look at that design. <laughs> Man, he looks buff. Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. When I first saw Ocean Shores, I said to myself, what a marvelous, friendly community. Just the kind of place you would want to take your family on vacation. Or for some of you lucky few, to live here all year round. That's why I decided to come here and do my best to help turn Ocean Shores into the best possible place it could be. Now I know some of you are a little worried about the sand, but rest assured that one of my top hydrogenological titians is looking into the problem. What? And he's sure that it's just a combination of freak tides and some new underwater currents in the bay. We can fix the problem with a new harbor wall, which I will be only too happy to build free of charge. So don't be surprised if you see teams of my technicians over the next few weeks. I'm sure things will be back to normal before the end of summer. Thank you for your patience. He's going to build a wall and he's going to pay for it. Try and find out what's going on around here, or there will be no summer for any of us. We hear you, brother. Funny thing about it being summer, like just starting for them, is that the day I'm recording this is August 20th, 2017, where it's the last day of summer, pretty much. So, ironic. And we started with Sam, which is kind of funny. Weird. I thought that there was some kind of, um, well, I guess momentum when I was running, but I guess I was just, maybe my controller's just weird. I don't remember. It's giving us some pretty nice music, too. I like it. Things are not looking good, Tito. 
Out of here, you brother. As the ancient Hawaiians say, no tourists means no paychecks for tourist resort Franklin. No rentals either. Especially with the beach being off limits. And no ocean shore surf classic unless the sand comes back by next week. First one I've missed in 20 years. Come on, guys. Cheer up. The sand will come back. I'm sure of it. Even if we have to shovel it back ourselves. We'll go take a look around and see if we can find anything out. Okay, guys. Whatever you want. He's not normally as, you know, laid back when it comes to the things kids explore like that when something up something